everyone and welcome to Sunday. How are we all doing today? Look, I'll say welcome to the hot and sticky Sunday. It's going to be another hot one, 31 degrees here again. It's just as crazy the heat the last few days. I'm glad when it breaks down from, I didn't say it was like a Tuesday or Wednesday, but tell me it's not going to drop that much, just a high 20s, which is enough for me. At least when it's high 20s, you can get out, still get out and do things. And this heat, you don't want to do anything, do you? You just, you know, that it makes you feel so tired and sleepy as well. I know it definitely has us, and even it's disturbed the kids from sleeping, especially Sammy. Again, well, yesterday he got himself so ratty because the night before he didn't sleep with the heat. We got like one of the fan things, but that sort of doesn't help the temperature and stuff like that. So at least when it cools down a bit, I hope the kids will sleep. For saying that, though, Ben went to sleep about quarter to eight. No, quarter to nine last night he was fast asleep. So unfortunately, he's been up since half past five this morning. Full of beans on a Sunday morning. It's like, Ben, do I go back to sleep? But suddenly, no. I was He, um, when he's awake, he's awake. So by, so by six o'clock, he was like, that's it, I'm fully awake. I want to go down on my breakfast. So of course, Stephen took him down, let me lay in bed for a bit. And then when I got up, he's gone back to bed. So I need to wake him back up. Like waking back up in a minute. Um, so we wasn't doing anything today, so we might as well put up some sleep anyway, because I know next few weekends we're busy, because obviously next Sunday we're at, we're at Castle. Really looking forward to seeing the Jalston back again. And then Sunday after we'll be at Butlins! Yeah, I know it's not going to be Butlins experience we used to, but it's nice to get away. One thing I like about Butlins is the um, it's up to the seafront this time, so I know in the past when we've gone to but, uh, Butlins at Skeggy, they've got like the beach gate where you're tied to, so at least this time, you know, you still come and go if you please, as long as you've got like your room key, and some just say apparently they're doing the wristbands again, or they're like the wristbands, I think you should be, you'll be fine to kick in that as well. Really, really looking forward to where I'm staying as well, we've got a nice big lodge, never stopped in Elms before. In fact, like I said, we've never been to Minehead before either, so we're just looking at a few things to do because the entertainment on the Monday is nothing because it's changed every day, which is a bit annoying because before, uh, we've, we've always gone on Friday to Friday. So, of course, on the Monday, we've always gone swimming in the morning or done the fairground where it's been nice and quiet, but not doing any of that at the minute. I can stand in one way, really, because obviously it was a situation, but then it's not fair on the guests that are actually there for the whole week, even the even same with the Friday as well. So we thought about going down to Minehead Castle, Dunster Castle, something like that. And also apparently Lima for Lynmouth, apparently got like a nice big massive um, cliff top railway. So we thought about doing that. Obviously it depends on the weather as well. So I hope fingers crossed the weather stays nice and dry, then we can do that, because I know Sam would uh, love doing that. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah, you like that? Want to go down to um, see the old steam train at Minehead? Yeah. Yeah, but apparently sometimes it's not yeah. working as well. And those, so. there's a new Skyline Gown show for this year. Your sweetheart? The new Skyline Gown show. Yeah, what's it called? Go viral and go to park. So, yeah, so I'm not going to go and see that. That's one good thing actually, with because obviously the restriction has been lifted slightly as well. The Skyline, shows in the Skyline, isn't it? It's got like brilliant. Also, um, the Splash Walk Wars has come and go if you please, which is pretty good, isn't it, sweetheart? Because yeah. I know Sky a Skyline going on every night. Yeah. I think they're on most nights, aren't they? So I think most, we're going to. Yeah, we just had to check. Yeah, I think so. And also, Billy and Bonnie Bear shows there in the Skyline for their come and go if you please. Because obviously, Ben likes Billy and Bonnie Bear and Sam likes the Skyline gang. So, but like, yeah. so we're just going to go and have, um, well, enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, so because we looked at the app. And Sam has made a list of things he wants to go and see. He said before he didn't want to go see diversity, but now he says he does. So, um, we all think all the place I can get on the app. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to wait Stephen up now, and then also I can go jump in the shower and straighten my hair because my hair's got such a mess this morning. I feel so I can't wait to get it cut. But anyway, yep, so I'm also Sam wants to drink. Okay, so just coming up out the shower, and you can see Stephen's preparing dinner for us. What have you got? Roast chicken, roast potatoes, carrots, and broccoli, yep. So that'd be quite nice one. Have a nice dinner on a Sunday. It's just, it's, I don't know, ever since we've moved in together, you've always had like to cook a dinner on a Sunday, haven't you, Ray Yeah, it's just like everything else. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas as well, yep. Yeah. So if he wants to do it, I'm quite happy to let him do it. I come down, I want to come down, I wonder where Ben was. You can see he's out here on his trampoline, bless him, laying down. We're looking at Sita. You do know there's no clouds in the sky again, is there? No. What? You were you wishing a helicopter spend Jay flying by. Later on this afternoon, red arrows are flying over, aren't we? So let's see if we can find them. I think about quarter past it's about quarter past two? Something like those. I know they're doing some sort of display at Silverstone, so we should be able to see them hopefully. And he did have trainers on his feet, 
did your bed, but you kicked him off. Again, that's our face. He doesn't like shoes on his feet this time of the day anyway. Do your bed this time of the year anyway, where it's nice and warm and stuff. Obviously, he's got some sandals at Buckland, so he'll probably just live on his sandals. Are you right, Ben? Yeah, you're right, sweetie pie. So I can't believe you've been up since half past five this morning. <laughs> you're getting tired now. Yeah? You're right. Bless him, eh? We really, really love to know what goes on in his head. There's love to be him for 24 hours. Because he must see the world totally different with what we do. And he must, again, deny it. It's just quite interesting to actually see how their autism brain works for the us. Because, again, when we had to have these brain scans, they said he could tell it was autistic by his, by his brain shape his brain was. So it's just quite interesting and fascinating anyway, isn't it? So, anyway, yep, so um, while Stephen's cooking his um, dinner... Ben's on his trampoline, so I'm sort of stairs playing on his PlayStation happy. I'm going to straighten my hair. So this is dinner, I've got a roast um, yeah. chicken, with all this one last time we got from rice and they're frozen, they come up really nice. It takes 35 minutes, 35 minutes or 45 minutes in the oven. Oh you can I've cook got... them from frozen as well. you got chicken as well, haven't you, we've got from Iceland. And roast potatoes, and dogs in blankets, and also some carrots. We haven't done no stuffing because Stephen forgot to do the stuffing, but anyway, it's still nice, isn't it, sweetheart? Yeah. So what that breeze is picking up, nice breeze, isn't there? Do you want a drink, Sita? Well, it's got one there. So yeah, you can see I've got a poorly broken iPad. Well, I say it's not broken as such, it still turns on and things like that, but you can see the screen is cracked on it like crazy. I know, bless him, Ben, I know he can't help it, he probably didn't mean to, but obviously he loves playing my iPad. It's got one of his own, because what appears is the first generation one, I think it is. So, of course, the iOS is updating, but it won't let you update it. And of course, I've downloaded a like, paint app for this for he loves, because you can just put his finger all over it, which he really, really enjoys doing. So, I was playing with that with him this morning, and I actually left it on the computer. I thought it was safe, out of his reach, out of the way, but obviously, he picked it up, and then the movie thought he could play him. Next to next to knew it was on the floor, out of its case. Again, the case is broken as well, so I don't know if Ben fixed it up and he dropped it. I really didn't know or he stood on it, but again, the case, as you can see, is broken and also the glass. Um, so I emailed a couple of people about some quotes about getting it replaced because I do absolutely love my iPad. And again, I use my iPad to film my vlogs and things like that for my channel. And um, obviously, I've been learning to use iMovie as well, so I hope, fingers crossed, it won't be that much to replace. Again, with Steve, so the quotes are quite high. If I order an Amazon, if I go on to Amazon and order a placement kit, he should be able to do it for me because he's done his own anyway. So, but yep, yeah, look, it's all broken down here. So, here anyway, I'm going to leave it out of its case out of the way, I think. So, bless him, Ben's been quite noisy this afternoon, actually, hasn't he? He's just been shouting, he's been watching the race. I don't know if he's telling them to go fast. I do not know. But yeah, Ben, I can't believe what you've done to Mummy's iPad, haven't you? Ben, what have you done to Mummy's iPad? Hey. He's looking at his lights now, aren't you? You broke Mummy's iPad. Ben. What have you done to Mummy's iPad? Yeah, you know what does cheeky. What have you done? Eh? I tell you what, if you want to stop, tell you what, if he wants if he's gonna stop playing my iPad more, well, once I get it fixed, I'm probably buy one of those tougher casey things for it, you know what I mean? And those protective screens where they don't crack them. And you, eh? Hey? <laughs> Who do you want to win then, Ben? What racing drive do you want to win? Lewis Hamilton, um, what's his name? What's his first name? Leclerc, isn't it? Or something like that. Or do you want Valtteri Bottas to win, Benji? Yeah, you know, I love to take you up to the track, but just be too noisy up there for you. You wouldn't like, you wouldn't like it. Maybe we could take you to one small event, you know what I mean? Take him to the um, World Pace one with all the fireworks in the season. He likes that there. Don't you, Ben? Yeah. And then ready for school tomorrow. Three days left of school. And then, when, then you're on holiday then from Thursday, from Thursday, aren't you? 
And no getting up early like you've done this morning. Yeah. Cheeky boy, aren't you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you so happy, isn't it? Yeah. Is the tablet working all right now? Yeah. That's good. Dad had to fix your tablet as well, didn't he? What, for? what? What? My Rani? Yeah, to fix your Rani, didn't he? Yeah. Because it was, it's got no sound to it, hasn't it, or something? Yeah. So, anyway, um, before I let you know, you know you wanted to go and see Peter Rabbit too? Yeah. Well, when we, when we go to Butlins, yeah. on that Monday night, what? you're going to do the silent cinema, yeah. get up from their showing. Peter Rabbit too. So we could go and see... Yeah, we're at Butlins. At Butlins, yeah. Like, yeah. You know where you know where you have, you know where they do it normally, don't you? Where you sit on deck chairs and things like that. You watch it on the big screen. We wear the if the if um, headphones. Yeah. We could do that, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that will save us to a trip to go and see it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have to be Harvey set my Ronnie. Yeah, of the that sound. is. Yeah, those take those took it back to factory settings for you, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want anything? Are you right? I want a cookie now. You want a cookie now? Yeah. Look at you all sweaty, sweetheart, aren't you? I'm um, all sweaty mm. now. Mm. Well, what do you put the fun on? <laughs> so what we'll have to do is probably next week, yeah? yeah. We'll start packing your case, won't we? Yeah, look. Because don't forget, what have you got now? You've got your bigger case, haven't you? Yeah. So you should be able to get everything in there, won't we? Yeah. And stuff like that. So you want to take, you want you take your DVD, but you're not taking your DVD for anything, are you? Or some books of you, are you this time? I'm taking books. You're taking a couple of books of you, must admit. If this is a book, I said before, this is a book that Sammy likes to read before he goes to bed. Is this one you like reading? Yeah. I think it is, isn't it? This was here about the great way away it was on about, this one. I don't want pages on. He knows what pages on, don't you, sweetheart? So, he yeah, obviously, he loves about his trains. Anyway, don't you, my dad? Him? Yeah. So, all right, my darling, just show if you want something in, all right? Okay. See, so that brings another hot, sweaty, sticky Sunday to a close. It's just crazy how hot it actually is. Apparently, like I say, it seems to say that it's going to stay like this now till Friday. Apparently, it's going to break down then. So, as long as it's nice and we go to Minehead, that's all that matters. I don't want hot sunshine like we've got now, just as long as it stays dry, that's all that matters, really. But then again, Butlins have got things inside, even if it does get too hot or if it rains, that sort of thing. So, again, but Sam says only run Skyline Gang shows and everything in the Skyline Pavilion, you're all come as you go as you please. And you seem really happy when we said, like, Peter Rabbit's on. There is other sites in the We've been meaning to go and see that cinema for ages, but obviously we didn't fancy wearing face masks while you're watching the film and stuff like that. So again, we are definitely going to go see that. Kills two birds, one stone. Again, try to put things on the app. Not available yet. They did say ten days beforehand, so I just imagine any time from tomorrow. So I'm going to keep checking it every couple of hours or so tomorrow because I know people in the past. As soon as things go live, that's it. They can they can go straight away. I know they do have like the standby queue things like that but I don't think how Ben will cope having to wait that makes sense at least in that way if we guarantee to see at least we haven't got to hang around or it like that so um, obviously Sam has ripped down everything you want to sweetheart so we just have baths and things like that also ready for school for tomorrow as well and yeah so who watched actually watched the British Grand Prix again I don't know what to say about that to be honest with Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen um, for what it looks like it looks like it was an accident in one way but I just feel sorry for Max Verstappen. That could have been really, really nasty. Uh, from what I can gather, I think he's got a concussion and a couple of broken ribs or something like that. It could have been really, really nasty. But at least he's okay. That's what I'm going to say. I know that Lewis got a time, 10 second time penalty for it, didn't he? So, again, he done well to make it up and that sort of thing. So it's good well for Mercedes and things like that. I know they have been struggling this season. But, uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you very much for watching us today. And for also for taking your time out and... Um, commenting and also all your likes and subscribing as well so anyway yes like i said we've got a exciting things booked say for the summer holidays we've really got some really really lovely things obviously we're going to try and take the boys back to pots of wildlife park again but it's no zoo to look forward to i just try, try and tell steve and maybe go to whips and uh, not whips nade oh uh, west Midlands safari park but steve reckons are probably a bit too far i think he doesn't fancy going through the safari he's got visions some of the animals destroying the car like they did on that episode of car share and things like that and obviously got the main thing look forward to look forward to the next couple of weeks with Batlins again really really looking forward to what to do on that and aren't we and then just got things that Chessington look forward to aren't we Legoland I've oh, got the ring oh yes it's finally charged that's good so anyway just want to say thanks for watching and then we'll see you tomorrow at 5pm bye everyone stay for